Hello everybody. Welcome to Tennessee Taming Book Bang Channel. I have had a question why we haven't had water and you want me to explain and uh, I'm going to let me find the camera here lens okay there you are hello explain what happened um we had a code snap in 19 no, 19 2022 and um it was cold it was very cold so um i mean it was really cold so I put in some money, my family put in some money, my in-laws put in some money, my friends around here put in some money, and it was over $800 uh, worth of stuff for Plex pipe and shark bites. I hope I said that word right about the pipes. Um, someone was fixing the pipes. But they had to run back here and everywhere. So he left this guy here. And that was working on the pipes. Well, his stepson. No, correction. His son and daughter-in-law told him that they gave me and Paul $300. So he deliberately destroyed every bit of the pipe. I mean... Total mess. So, um, um, Paul and some other people have worked on the pipes in 2023, and uh, you know they've been working on it. There'll be a leak here. There'll be a leak there. Work, work, work on it, and then twenty, then twenty-four come, and I, my uncle was going to come and fix it, but uh, we have new park owners now, and everyone has to move, but about three people don't have to move, but everybody else has to move. So I'm not going to fix the pipes. I'm not going to fix nothing that's wrong here. Um, we are going to look at stuff, see if we can find us a place to live. Um, I'm hoping to find a place rent to own. Um, I really desire your prayers that God will help us find a place that, that we want. Uh, I have a, a PayPal account on here if you would like to give to PayPal. If you go to my page, it's right under my name, my PayPal account name. And I have it on uh, Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram, um, I think that's all I got them on. If you would like to help contribute, uh, even a dollar would help. We're going to have to rent a U-Haul and um, probably a storage building to put a lot of stuff in, and we're, we're going to get rid of a lot of stuff. But to answer your question, that that's what's happened. Uh, for three years, they have worked on the water. And where he messed it up, oh my God. I, I, I just don't know what to say. What do you say when somebody does that to you that, that you, you, don't, you didn't do anything to them? Man, if they give us $300, I would have fainted. I'd had this water fixed so fast, but uh, yeah, that's what happened. But you know, Jesus says to forgive, and I have forgave that person, and 
the Lord also says that you reap what you sow. So he's going to lose a whole lot more than $800. But, um, yeah, baby. Stripe, stripe nose is right here. Very stressful situation. Um, very stressful, very stressful, very, um, I don't know how to put it, you know, I know why people's homeless, um, you know, you see these people on the streets, and don't judge them, don't judge people that's on the streets, you don't know their story, you don't know what's happened to them, um, but, uh, that's what's going on, and hopefully soon we will have a place to live. And uh, the new owner is working with us. He's a very nice person. He's, he's a very nice person. Seems to be a Christian. Um, but um, it's okay that he wants us to leave. It's fine. Uh, no, no, um, animosity, not upset with them whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been going on. Been depressed a little bit, and, but, um, you know, God's, God's got this. He said he'd never leave us or forsake us, and he said he would provide for our needs and he's got a place out there somewhere he that he will lead us to and uh and uh it'll be perfect because whatever god finds for us is perfect you know god takes care of his children and i can tell you one thing when you're being tried and tested it's not easy, but I know without a doubt in my heart that God's got us, and uh, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. It's just a um, little aggravating trying to find a place, but it's okay. You know, God will lead us to where he wants us. And uh, hopefully we'll be around good people, good Christian people. Not about, not not around a bunch of uh, meth heads, prostitutes, drug dealers, pimps. Um, you name it. This place has been hell. It's been pure hell. Had somebody trying to bust in my door when we was at church, trying to break in. Thank God that the Lord sent an angel to block, to keep them from coming in. He protected my animals. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, what in the world have you got? Anyways, uh, I lost my concentration. <laughs> he came in with something in his hands. It, uh, my foot is hurting really, really, really bad. For the ones that don't know, I slipped on some liquid at Food Line and um, twisted my foot really bad. And, uh, they said I pulled some ligaments and sprained my foot and ankle and, and stuff. And they got me, I have to wear this boot in the daytime. I take it off at night. I have to take it off at night and prop, and prop my foot up to keep the swelling down. I hate the boot. I hate that boot with the passion. It looks like a halo boot. That Master Chief wears. If you don't know what a halo is, look it up. 
Look at Master Chief and look at his boots. I, I hate that thing. But, um, I go to the orthopedic this Thursday. Boots, stop. I go to the orthopedic this Thursday. I was going to go anyways. And I'm going to ask her for a smaller shoe. But, um, I thank you guys so much for your sweet comments. Hey, Paul. Got a fight outside. You need to break them up. It can be a fight. Anyways. Um, thank you so much for your sweet comments and for... I don't know what we do without you guys. You guys are so sweet. So sweet. We love you guys very much. And to the new TTs, welcome. Um, we will... We will try to video every day. I know we haven't videoed in the last couple of days. The last couple of days has just been <laughs> shocking and, oh my God, so stressful. So stressful. I cannot emphasize that much, how much stress it is. And, um, yeah, I hate moving. I hate moving with a passion, but I can't wait to move away from here. This is like Solomon and Gomorrah. I despise this place. But I think uh, the new owner, I think he's going to kick butt. I think he's going to take names, and I think the trash is out of here. Is out of here. But um, he wants to put new trailers in here, and I can understand that. So, um, who was fighting? Anyways, he'll take care of this place. He's going to run this place the way it should be run. Love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. I hope I answered your question uh, the best. I, I answered you the best I could. But, uh, yeah. Um, give your heart to the Lord. And I can promise you that Jesus Christ is the only way and the only one that will be there for you when nobody else will be there. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, pop them down below. We do pray for you guys every day because I'm, I'm a firm believer in prayer I'm a firm believer in fasting stop and I'm a firm believer when God says he does something he does it hey Paul hey Paul Somebody's walking back here with a lot. Mm -hmm. Who is it? They're getting ready to get their butt kicked. We'll call the cops. Call the cops. Don't either. you go out there. There's a cop car just went by. Well, you need to go out there and holler at them. See, it's like it's all time. There's cops here every single day. Every single day. See what I'm saying about stressful? <sighs> well, guys, I will update you on the the community thing where I I write something down. I'm I'm gonna get off of here because I don't know what's going on. I might have to go up there with my stick. I, I don't know what's going on guys. Just please keep us in your prayers.
and pray that God will help us get out of here real soon. Love you all very much. God bless and love you, TTs.